Hello, Hello, and welcome, and welcome to Kickity Crocs, Crocs, the, the podcast. podcast. We, talk we talk about martial, martial arts stuff, stuff geeky stuff, stuff and, and all sorts of stuff. stuff. That went really well, actually. <laughs> my name is Steve, one half of Kickity Crocs. Kelsey just gave me the weirdest look. <laughs> my name is Steve, one half of Kickity Crocs. We're becoming Crocs. one soul now. <laughs> yeah, it's my creepy. wife realized she's. we're becoming one. She's no longer married to Dave. She's married to Dave. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> You guys have oh, merged, who combined. Are you again? <laughs> who are you again? You are, are you? our version of Vegeta. We are Deef. Deef. Oh, half of Kicking <laughs> the, the entirety of Kicking Or Crocs. you could be Stave. <laughs> Stave oh, no. Stave this needs to happen now. We need to do a video where we do the fusion dance. <laughs> yes. Oh. And we combine. Who's your combine? What is your combined look? Is it Benatelli? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> You're like, wait, what? <laughs> No, that's where we mess Wait, it up. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> what, it what it needs to be? You. It needs to be this. It needs to be fusion crocs. Oh, do it. Yeah. Now this. Anyways, okay. So he's Dave, the other half of kicking and crocs. I'm Dave. Nick. I'm Nick, the shadow half kicking and crocs. And we have with us today, Rich. I got to do your intro, man. We have with us today, the returning guest, uh, one of the most loyal kicking and crocs fans. Uh, and he was also in the Magic Crux. Uh, I wonder if he's going to hear any of this. It's he's quiet. V Rocket. <laughs> Steve Benatelli. Finally, the V Rocket has come back to talking here with you guys. Yeah, man. And on video. Yeah, We're actually. On video. Working video. Yeah, so, working everybody, yeah. everybody, this we, is what he actually looks like. Yes, we did do this <laughs> one time <laughs> without camera footage. <laughs> Ow. Nick, it's real. Can you see the reflection <laughs> of the TV? You're in charge of making sure the camera stays working. We're good. We are good. Since that bombed last time. <laughs> <laughs> With my yeah, camera. See the TV. So to, to the audio listeners, we have the phone recording us, but uh, Master Dave's TV is right behind it, so we can yeah. see the reflection of it recording. It was the same in the basement. We last... tried to do the same thing last time. We really? yeah, didn't yeah, pay attention. Yeah, we yeah, got yeah. into a great conversation, didn't pay attention to it anymore. Yeah, exactly. And then, the, the, yeah, it just, yeah. Well, anyways, nobody knew that, though, because the episode was edited seamlessly, so it seemed like nothing bad even happened. I really thought you guys just thought I was ugly. No. Oh, the last no, time no, I just, no, no, yeah, no. The camera <laughs> thought that. <laughs> the camera. <laughs> Technology rejected you, but us so, all naturals thought you were great. I hate technology. Nice. So let's let's jump right into this. What's new, man? Anything anything exciting? Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, not much has gone on. I mean, um, you know, I was just so I I know we just had Christmas. Yes, we did. And I, you get I believe Christmas? you you might have gotten a croc related. Wait, what? I didn't know this. A croc related present of some sort. I did. Perhaps I, sitting in your shoes at the moment? Yes, I do have some gibbets. Oh, my first gibbets. I didn't even wow. notice those. Hang there, on, okay. There, Let's describe what we got here. Let me see. If I can reach down here without knocking anything over, I have some Harry Potter gibbets. The Potter gibbets. Nice. Potter gibbets. And to let everybody, all the uh, viewers out there, to just know that I'm a Hufflepuff. Now, Me too. Now, listen, the V Rocket family is Harry Potter enthusiasts, from oh, what I understand. Very big, very big. My, especially my wife, she's very big into is Harry she, Potter. Is she also a Hufflepuff? No, she's a Gryffindor. Ooh. I, and, my, and my boys, my two sons, they're Ravenclaws. I'm a Ravenclaw. No, I'm not a Ravenclaw. I'm a, I'm a Hufflepuff like you. My wife is a Ravenclaw. Kelsey, confirm. You're a Ravenclaw. Confirmed. confirmed. Last podcast, I was Slytherin, so... It's true. <laughs> it's a, it's a yeah. Oh, yeah. You wore a green scarf and <laughs> it was a our green snow hoodie. Day episode, and, like, it was yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> you look like you were headed out to the Quidditch field. <laughs> and I would win. I would take totally Harry out. Win. What position? Here, this is a good topic to go into. What position would you play in Quidditch if you played Quidditch? Mm. Oh, man. That's a good one there. I mean, definitely. I, I probably have to be. I want to be goalie. Oh, you want to be? Uh, what oh, was that called? Goalie. That, that uh, had a name uh, for it. Called goalie. Beater? No, 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 it was beater. A goalie. Was, it was the keeper. I want to say it was keeper. Keeper, right? keeper, yeah. keeper. yeah, keeper. There's the chasers, Somebody, the beaters, the comments. Keepers. Confirm if I'm right. Went to the seekers. The seekers, oh, the seekers, seekers not chasers. Right? Seekers, yeah, seekers. Hi. Oh no, here we go. The Ravenclaws here. Huh? You're not guest today. You're not guest today. Kelsey just said, "My co-host, Melinda, could be my co-host." Yep, yep. Kelsey just said, "If you need." Harry Potter expertise, the position they're right over the right there. Right I'm like, uh, it, it, then come on then. Everyone needs to comment below and everyone say hashtag you know, Kelsey for the podcast. I had I had a and problem Melinda, with the, I had well, a problem with the whole game of Quidditch though. 
Say again? Problem with the whole I, game of Quidditch. So my whole game, the golden snitch. The snitch is my problem with the whole game of Quidditch. Or oh, the auto Charles win? Murray. Yeah, the, the, golden, auto- the golden goal. Yeah, yeah. What, no, 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 no. What, what other sport works like that? What uh, other sport? Uh, beer pong. Go ahead. Well, yes, okay. Beer, beer, yeah. beer pong Anyways, works like Does that. it? Yeah, if you hit No, but like legitimate. Like, like, like legit. So, so that was like the sport of the wizarding world, right? There's not like in basketball, there's not some magic net. 20 feet back, and if you make the... Oh, doesn't matter if you're losing 118 to nothing. You make that basket. You Actually, win automatically. It's, uh, it is possible for a team to catch the snitch and still lose the match. How Really? Whoa. How's that? I, I thought the match is over. It's, well, I mean, it's, well, think about it this way. How many points do you get when you catch the snitch? I don't remember. 30? Was it 30? 150. 150. 150. Oh, wow. I was way off. Kelsey? Not even close. <laughs> <laughs> um, how many points do you get when you catch the snitch? 150. See, yes, yeah, so 150 okay. confirmed. But it's, an all, it's basically an yeah, auto-win. but you, you don't have but, the questions. No, no, no. So, so he knows. let's say, let's say that there is a team that is not scoring any points with the quaffle, right? Throwing at the yeah. quaffle, meaning mm-hmm, the ball mm-hmm. through the goals, right? They didn't get any points, and the other team is just killing it. If that team can get more points scored with the quaffle mm-hmm. just through the hoops, all over right, 150, I see your, I see your point. So here's my question. And for here's the thing: if the seeker catches the snitch. If the bad team sneaker catch uh, sneaker, <laughs> the bad team sneaker catches the snitch. catches the snitch. We don't wear sneakers. Then on technically, the you're right. The game automatically ends, but then they would clinch the loss for their team. If you caught it too early, like if they yeah, yeah, too yeah. early, oh, they need to gain those points. So first. now here's my question, because we know Spend that they have real life that. Quidditch. I certainly did. Where they just life? run around a field again. and play Quidditch, right? You like know, in that, real life. That question so is who saved. is the snitch in real so, life? So is that like, question is better oh, oh, saved. Oh, actual. Wait, hang on. Wait, yeah, in an actual game. No, no, no. But that question of is better saved. Oh, wait, he's right. So Master Alex's wife, Sarah, played in a college league. Played after college, continued to play after she graduated, was on uh, basically a professional Quidditch team. Um, I used to question Alex's chances of getting Sarah, but finding out all these facts oh, yeah, brings yeah, yeah. it closer together on why. Yeah, it makes oh, sense. yeah she played in a professional <laughs> Quidditch team. Did you say what position you would play? Keeper, uh, he said. I'd be keeper. Oh, you'd be keeper. I'd be keeper. What did you say? Nice. Um, I think I would be. an audience member. <laughs> <laughs> because. I don't like the heights and the flying around. Your I don't wife think just would, laughed at you. I don't think this that would work guy for me. Does not like roller coasters. Nah, yeah. No. I, I, me, I'll go on the roller coaster. No, I don't want to be out there. If you're Did flying you... around. You're moving. No, thank you. I'll be in the audience. I would play the luxurious role of a referee. Oh, you look <laughs> like a referee. I could be a referee. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Gryffindor. As the guy. Breaks his arm. I'll be like, I won't uh, do a roller coaster. Uh, yeah, I'm, Mendo so, somebody, Rivero. Somebody take care yeah. of this. Yeah. yeah, someone handle that. I, I would totally. I, I think I would be best suited as a, as a seeker. I can see. You being Although a honestly, my eyes aren't that great, so I don't know if that would be good. Although Harry didn't have good eyes either. No, he had glasses too. Man. Yeah, that's true. Okay, you could so be like, can, uh, you, you, he had keeper, glasses. You could also be, be like a beater. Mouth for what are they called? Beater. Yeah, yeah. Beater. Yeah. Without the sticks. Yeah. Yeah, it could be beater. I just feel like that's a small because you got like an enforcer vibe to you. Yeah. So you could probably be a beater too, just like knocking people around. Oh yeah, I'd, I'd be, you know, like drumming, knocking me. I'm like, bam. Yeah, no, I definitely have to be in the audience. There's no chance. That's fine. You, you know me. What I'm, if we I'm, I'm use a this spell guy. to make you not afraid of ice? Boom! It's magic. It's make nah. believe. We nah. can do it. No, he's got, he's got a point. I you ever it. see? So the only person, well, definitely, I know you've seen it, Steve. What's that? Meteor Man. Yes, Meteor great Man. Movie. So it's great, movie. great comedy movie. Uh, movie oh, with oh, a superhero, yeah. but he's scared of heights, so he gets the ability to fly, but he hovers on the like ground three <laughs> feet above. <laughs> that would I'm, be me. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. When I was younger. I had dreams of I haven't been able to fly, but in the beginning I didn't know how to control it, so I literally hovered across my lawn in my dreams. It was the fun- <laughs> and then that movie came out, I was like, ah, it's real, it's not just me. It was so, the funniest. So little thing. fact about the V Rocket sitting next to me here. Hmm. Um, he's an encyclopedic knowledge of eighties, oh. nineties. Oh yeah, we talked about this last time. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's about like him, he's able to I, quote I, movies I, like it's nothing. I grew up. I pull everything out and be like, "Oh, hey, you know what? That actually reminds me of the time. You ever see that part of the movie?" And, yeah, just, and I'll tell you the seconds and the minutes. That's, the that's, movie what it me, that's what reminded me. That's what reminded me. I was like, "Oh, Steve will definitely know Meteor oh, Man." Yeah. If I, if I, <laughs> Meteor Man is like a, it's like it's it's a very like Jim Carrey-ish type of comedy. Like, it's like a slapstick comedy of superheroes. They all had weird like non-traditional powers, minus the, the flying one. Let's put yeah. it this way: Meteor Man is that kind of movie that is still on VHS. Ooh. 
Yeah. <laughs> it was That's, so bad uh, they put it on a track. No, they, <laughs> they, <laughs> films. They, they didn't go to DVD. They, they st- you, you want to buy it? You still need a VHS. Yeah. <laughs> to the kids that don't know what that is, it's like this big tape thing they had to put into this thing called a VCR. You should look it up. They don't, they don't know what a tape is because they don't, don't have video. Do. No. They don't know cassette tapes Google either. Just Google it. Tape right now. That's, yeah, exactly. the, that's one of the markers I, I find <laughs> of age is like if, if, if somebody holds up their phone, I'm like, oh, let me just tape that you. That was the other day. Wait, let me record I, you. I yes, yes. Who, somebody Who did the other day. day. I, I was Nick I've said it on the oh, show before. Was, um, yep, yep. Sophia Duncan's mom, I believe. That's right. Yeah. We were doing. She was out there recording with the phone. She was out there recording with the phone and she said, like, let me tape you. Let me tape you. It's, just, it's like, oh, I hope you tape that. And then all the kids looked at us like, tape it? Yeah. What tape? She was like, oh, I hope that, I hope you guys tape that. And we're like, we knew what she was talking about. <laughs> but the kids looked like, what is she what? talking about? She doesn't what is she taping? Tape? Yeah, what, what is she taping? Well, isn't it, it, it? We talked about the other day, right? Jack Farrow got all those really cool, like, older gifts. He got the um, the rotary, uh, phone. rotary phone. Yeah, man. I love that. And then That's he said PS5. <laughs> yeah. She's so good. I, I had oh, rotary, my, my, so my parents had a rotary phone. In my the grandparents did. Forever, like, but like I'm saying, like it's the year 2000, and my parents had a rotary phone in the. In if the, it in works, the, if it works, right? But like, my dad's a techie guy, so right now. Yes. I, yeah, but I, he's I, also very. No, like, meticulous. My, like, if it's not broken, then why well, get rid of it? You know what I mean? Like thing, but okay. like right now, I mean, my, cool. my, what drives my mom crazy right now is the whole house is hooked up to like, it's a, basically my parents have a smart house, so my dad no longer even gets up to turn on lights. He just goes, lights on. Yeah. <laughs> Every room light on, uh, dim, 20%. And my mom's does like, he have just the shades? get up and turn it. Yeah. Like, does he have the shade, the blinds? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I remember when we had the Simpsons episode when everyone was in the, doing the military, and he's like, lights off. And he crashes his leg on the yeah. like, light, Lights on. Lights on. Okay, now lights off. Lights off. <laughs> he smacks See? his leg on the table. Videos, the movies. I- so, we, we, so actually, my, my parents got a new microwave. Mm. So. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. We helped put what it happened? in. And the three uh, of us here, yeah, we, we uh, V No, you didn't make it for them. No, nah, you were there for the nah, fence. I was there for the oh, fence. Oh, that's right, you were there for the fence. So, but, Let's but, talk about the fence first, then. The fence. Well, well the microwave related to yeah. the technology. We'll get to the fence. Okay. The microwave related to the technology because they could have just gotten a regular microwave, but instead my dad got a... No, my, so the argument was they're redoing their kitchen. According to the, Jeff- the Jetsons. They're redoing their kitchen. Oh, my God. So... Dribble my mom was like, we're taking down this wall where the, where the microwave currently hangs above the stove. Okay. So let's just get a countertop cheap thing. And then when we take down the wall and we rearrange the kitchen, then okay. you get what you want. Got it. That didn't happen. My dad obviously got. Like, what he wants already. It is a. So picture this micro, microwave, right? There's no buttons on it. The glass becomes a display with the buttons. Touchscreen. Touchscreen display. Right. And it's also very excited. It's Wi-Fi enabled. So he can set it. I'm like, what are you, wait, what? Are you leaving food in it? And you're just going to be like, now warm it up 10 like, minutes later. On your couch and you're like, somebody still has to put something in the microwave. I don't understand. Yeah. Like, you, you still, still have get to, up. But it's also an air fryer. It's also a, like it yeah. does a milk. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, a bunch yeah. of different things. I, but here's I, the, the microwave's an air fryer? Yes. Yes. Apparently. As air fryer mode. Yeah, yeah. But they, it gets even better than that. Wow. This was installed in the wall that's getting taken down. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we're gonna have to move it again in like a month yeah, or two. I, I hate to just say in the whole, you know, like air fryer and everything, but with the Wi Fi I me, mean, I'm like, I need a door. I need something to grab on open it. Like Yeah, this is just one screen. It, it, like, it, it was just like a side panel thing. Panel yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, our like, our washing like, machine has Wi Fi capabilities too. I'm like, but I have to put the clothes in it. Like Yeah, but that's that at least makes some right sense there. to me because like if you know it's not gonna be dry and you can just No, to rerun it I, like if you want to run it. But that, yeah. that's the washer though. Not the dryer. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, it's really weird. Yeah. I don't get it. I still... you know, I like it for like my heat and AC because I can adjust it if I'm coming home. Well, I'm yeah, not well that makes those sense. Are, you don't need to be there for those things. you know. But for the, the washer, the dryer... What's so, so the other story that we were talking about, Steve, the Steve, you have an interesting face right now. Can you I hear, hear I hear it crackling in oh. the audio. So the other, the other uh, story... I don't know why. Go ahead, continue, continue. The other right. story that we were talking about is the fence. So my parents, their fence... So a car drove through their fence. Yeah. Oh, wow. Recently? Yes. They live on a pretty uh, heavily trafficked road. Yeah. yeah, no, I know where they live. I just yeah, didn't yeah. know that happened well, recently. Well, the listeners don't know where they live unless they stalk me. I um, they better not. Oh, we have to talk about that, by the way. Stalkers? No, not necessarily. Something different. Because hmm. it continue on. Oh, yes, I know what you're talking about. So, we're t- so a car um, through the fence. Wow. So, okay. Yeah, so they had to wait for the insurance money to come in to buy the fence sections. So then 
we bought my dad and I bought the fence sections, but um, he had a blood clot, hospital stay, whole nine. Yeah. So he really shouldn't be putting up the fence. Nope. So I called him the Steves. You did. He called in V Rocket this, and this, C Rocket. This Steve sandwich I'm sitting in between right now. <laughs> um, so we we put a fence it. up. Okay. And uh, so there's lots of tree roots. So we can't just put a fence oh, up. Yeah. We had to use a demolition you have to clear saw. clear it out, yeah. So, <laughs> so Vinatelli's yeah. like, wait, a saw? I'm um, in. V-Rocket's grabbing that thing like it's a machine gun, ready to go. Nice. <laughs> oh, trust me. After like I, like I cleared it, I was like, no, there's more. I would never come. Oh, he's getting a kick out of it. Yeah, you guys aren't going to run into any roots here. It was funny. I was digging out another one of the fence post holes, and boom, I hit a root, and I was like, <laughs> uh, for, the record, for the record, when you, did that, got it. For the record when, you did, when you did that, it was only three scoops you did, and that was it. You were done. I did a lot of the. No, no, no. I did a lot of the digging. I did more of the digging. Yeah, you know, you did a, a, one of like a whole a whole fence yeah, post hole. Yeah, yeah. The one that I was digging into had already been like marked out or something. Yeah, no, like Steve that. was Steve was doing a lot of. Look, he did a lot. V Rock did all the sawing. Mm -hmm. He was the cut man. Nice. And all of a sudden, yeah. like I remember, your dad was like, "All right, we just need the fence," and I'm picking up the whole the whole sheet, and your dad's like, "Oh, gee," I'm like, "Yeah, let's let's put it, let's go." It's good to have some, some some muscle once in a while. It was cold out there too. It was cold. Yeah, it was cold. I mean, so this was back like, but uh, bef just before Christmas. Yeah. Because I wanted to get out because my sister was coming with the dogs and everything. So. <laughs> and then there was a huge gap in one corner that the dogs could easily scoot up. Oh really? We blocked. We blocked a lot. Yeah, yeah, we, we just took the right. I'll, I'll be, we're just like we were looking at it like. Yeah. I'll be telling you right now. Ivy's starting to comb the fence edges, oh, and I know oh. she will find an exit before I figure out well, that there's no, an exit. Well, you know what you do? You so, get the um. They make they shot make, collar. Well, okay, Invisible you fence. Go, you could go that. <laughs> oh, geez. Again, you could go that. Barbed wire around the bottom. Well, no, they make they make um dig guards. So Landmines. <laughs> there you no, go. They're, they're like, oh, I missed that. They're like little posts. You you put them French land down mines. along your fence, and then your dogs can't dig underneath your fence. Oh, that's cool. Home Depot or, or, or Lowe's. What yeah, happened? a couple places. Have what are they called? You yeah. do them, I don't know. Dig guards. Or, oh. They can put them around like if you don't want animals getting underneath your. Uh, Melinda has them. Thank you. Dig you defense. Dig so says them. the Melinda. You don't see it. Uh, what's that? Yeah, a, li a lot or a little. Royalties if you guys ever use a promo code to buy one of these on from this channel. Uh, we'll have to. Are they like, is it that. white <laughs> at least? Because my fence we is white. No that's why I'm asking. Codes, yeah. Home Depot, you owe us some money. Talk, Talk about it after the cast. <laughs> you brought it up. I love no, it. No, but yeah, it's a great it, idea. it does protect against digging underneath because her dogs would always get out. And they, um, if I wasn't redoing my deck, there's creatures that live under my deck right now. <laughs> them um, gophers. So you'd get them out and put them in. You the, get them uh, out and put in. things in so they can't go back underneath. Yeah, because I have a, we have a uh, groundhog that is a, is about the size of my dog. Like, it's we huge. Two, we yep. have two yeah, groundhogs yep. and a bunch of cats. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, you guys, you my, the my, cats. Parents, Even at your dad's house too has a lot of my, cats. My parents' house, they had a gopher one time, and this thing is giant, and, like fat. And and my parents, all, all they grew up with was German shepherds. So I, you know, at the time, I think it was uh, Nitro, the uh, their second our second dog. I'm sorry, third dog. Bolty right for him, and he just goes into and skin, he skins himself. Oh, they find like, a way in yeah. into this tiny little hole up through the fence. I'm like, how does that big fat thing go through that? Little... It's crazy, no. right? Like, yeah, if their head, like, like most what, animals, if the head gets through, no. they find a way for the rest of the body. No, to get it was like literally, like it should have been like a Winnie the Pooh moment where you are going through a tiny <laughs> hole. Like, yes, exactly. exactly. That's like, that's stuck. not real life. You know, that, when you're when your life is there's on the line, reality. you get through. Never gonna keep you up. Take you down. You know what? It's funny. Copyright. <laughs> it's funny you just brought that song up because I was listening to a video, um, you know, the Facebook video videos, and they said, um, I think it was, uh, uh, what's the, uh, Duran Duran. No, the, 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 it was like Google. I think it was Google. Google's like top ten you like worst songs, okay. top <laughs> ten worst songs, and one that's one of the songs that was on there. Top ten worst. Top ten worst. <laughs> it was like that was like that was such a catchy you song. Won't. Never gonna let you down, and I'm like, comment below if you guys like that song. Let us, let yes. us know. Yes, yes, because if so, that. then that means you like one of but the worst I songs. Saw that, I was like, cool. <laughs> but it was I'm such like, a catchy song. Yeah, it was pretty good. You know, right? Yeah, I think it was somebody who was getting fired from Google, and they decided like. I mean, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of posted songs, up, which is a lot of people right now. There's a lot of catchy songs that aren't great. That's true. They're just catchy. We have to do an episode on like jingles, like jingles that you remember, like catchy jingles that I kind of set home. You mean like like old TV like like anything commercial like commercials jingles, whatever yeah like by Menon. 
<laughs> yeah, sure. Sure. A little <laughs> bit longer than that, but yes, okay. <laughs> you're not fully clean unless you're zestfully clean. Yes, there you go. No. Oh, the zestful. Yeah, but you know, our demog- I don't know, you think they would know any of those? Are there any? No. See, the problem is now they don't even watch commercials, so you don't even have them now. Uh-huh. Right? That's true. No, but you, but you well, fast forward. So, you yeah. wait for the five second mark if you're on YouTube, skip. and you hit it right away. And even if they're mark. unskippable, no one's looking at them. You know, no, it's like a, well, no, you, know, you, you, you know, ignore it, just a sheer principle. But like, you know oh, what? Mm. But I also think it's because commercials used to be funny. True. And, like there creative. Was a lot of creatively good commercials. There were some good ones. Not anymore. There was, there was well, some companies that came. Remember, up with they were ones. battling for actual advertising time because you yeah. would change the channel through it if you could you would try to go to another show but chances are you could run into another commercial now there are ways like, to avoid commercials but like all together like the super Correct. bowl coming up like the super bowl coming up right oh yeah i used to look forward to super bowl oh, me too. Listen, but some of them have been good horrible. some of them have been good They're not like they used to all be bangers all like is yeah. car commercials well you pay for that, you know, 30 second commercial, they pay like $2 yeah, million. But you know, a lot of yeah. them are just releasing the commercials ahead of time on YouTube anyway. No, uh, ahead you know of time? I love? No, you know what I love? Yeah. I didn't know. Is that. The, where they're doing like little commercials for the Super Bowl commercial. Yeah. Oh, they're doing yeah, teasers? Yeah, yeah. They're they literally. Teasers. So there was one, I, uh, was it last year or was it two years ago? I forget. But there was one that involved, who was it? Paul Rudd and somebody else. They do too deep, yeah. I want to say it was Seth Rogen, but I'm not sure. Um, comment below if you know what I'm talking about. So there was that commercial, and there was nobody them, knows what he's talking about. The commercial was them sitting; they nope. were sitting there on stairs. It looked like they had been at a wedding. Oh and yeah, they yeah, were yeah, literally yeah, yep. talking. Yep. They were talking about the commercial that they had just been in that was going to happen at the Super Bowl, and I was like, Oh, like the actors were talking about it. Yeah, oh. and I was like, Wait a minute. We're doing commercials about commercials now? Like, well, well when the, commercials yeah, commercialing. Don't forget, they used to have like the big popular, like the What's Up commercials, where the guys would be like, What's up? Right. What's up? And that ended up being on the Super Bowl, but that was out before the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. Right? That was, uh, yeah, yeah, that was when they came yeah. up with um, Scary Movie came out, and that's when they were making fun of the Scream movies. And all the other horror movies, so that's when they came up with that. What's up? Yeah. Oh, is that and how then, it originated? I didn't and know. And then, and then, because um, you know, I'm a big wrestling fan. And the Dudley Boys. Oh, they did that they forever. Used, they used to do that when they would have um, when Bubba Ray would be holding the guy's legs, and Devon get on top, and they jump go, off, ah, ah, flying jump headbutt. off, flying headbutt right into the the corn. old Chris Benoit move. You know. Flying headbutt. You're not allowed to say Chris Benoit anymore. Yes, I am. Yes. <laughs> oh, well, that's Listen. it. We're canceled now. Yeah, exactly. We're off. Yeah. We're blocked. That's right. I'm sitting with three wrestling fans. Not that I'm not a wrestling Hi. fan, but I just <laughs> watch it. You're 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 uh, kind of like a once in a while if it happens to be but, in front of you. But well, yes, but you're I did, not. I, I did actually watch very the, casual wrestling. I fans. watched the Royal Rumble, uh, which last speaking year. Of, speaking of which, last year Royal Rumble yeah. is tomorrow. Tomorrow, and uh, you know here. I should have known this because my cousin's birthday is today, and it was at his birthday party last year. Last year that you that watching. we watched the Royal Rumble. Don't nice. tell me there's another birthday party tomorrow. There's not. There's oh, not. That oh. so funny. That was like that was like his forty. That was like a. a Wait, no, this is his 45th birthday. I don't know why they did a birthday, but they did a birthday party. That's cool. Like, nice. I don't know why they celebrated their birthday, man. Like, who would do that? But uh, so we watched the Royal like Rumble, year. like at his house. <laughs> that was like his thing. So all the, all the, it wasn't just played out this way. All the ladies were in the house, and he has this epic, like, man cave garage thing with nice. like, oh. four TVs on the wall. I wish. Nice. Oh. All like the size of that. Oh, nice. Wow. That's beautiful. Pretty good um, TV. So we had like other sports playing, but he had the Royal Bumble on two TVs. Nice. Yeah, two TVs across the garage. Yeah, Luke is exciting. So, so a friend of mine had had the last pay per view at his house. Mm. We weren't able to go. So now he's doing the Royal Rumble at his house, and I'm going to take Luca. Well, Luca and I watched it last year at the house, mm-hmm. but the Royal Rumble is obviously you, his favorite of the events because of all the you get to see all the wrestlers pretty what? much. We uh, haven't made a lot of returns lately. Though, I'm not occasionally no, watches it. No, but you get to see the oh, all the we'll current. We'll no cross talking. No cross talking. We're cross talking. No, no. What were you, what, what you saying? Well, I had asked if his if, if his kids started watching wrestling too, since he's such a big still wrestling too early. Fan. Yeah. Or? No, no. I, I, I mean, I started watching wrestling when I was four years old. Explains a lot. You know, like I, I remember my first video I watched was WrestleMania 3. But that was different wrestling. You're talking about well, yeah. the golden era of wrestling. Right. 
Yeah. And by now, my son, who is also eight, much more provocative, he watches it with me. No, he's not, not golden era. He's not as consistent, but then he's like, "Oh, his daddy show is on," you know. And then show. and when his you daddy know, show. But sometimes I'll have it on, and he'll sit next to me and watch it. And <laughs> Ooh, he'll be daddy like, soap. Whoa, look at that move! Like, did you see that? Like that? Oh, is he's he getting watching? to that stage now. Yeah. Is he gonna, so? Is he going to watch the Royal Rumble with you? Uh, like, that's tomorrow. You that, say that's it tomorrow is. night. Okay, is that I'm, happening? I'm, that is definitely happening. I'm. It's like. Royal Rumble. Do you want to come in over my house and watch the Royal Rumble, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> Am I like, zooming you in from my buddy's house? We can talk about huh? it? Yeah, we're we, we, we going we to be on a well, call. Not for, not, yeah, sure. not for nothing. No, I do have Peacock here now. <laughs> <laughs> so he can just watch Peacock. So just, Steve, geez, but Steve left himself logged in. Peacock that is. Steve left himself logged in when he stayed at my house. So. Yeah, I did. I figured, you know, why not? Uh, but, you know, you know Share. it wasn't terrible to watch. It was, it, was, it was entertaining. I just didn't know anybody because I haven't watched it. But I'm curious okay. to see... As my son gets older, if he's going to get, gonna get into, it. into it or... Well, it all depends like anything else, right? Like if, if you watch football, he'll get into it with you. She watches baseball, he'll get into it with you guys no, at first. No, he's not going to be into baseball, but yes, yeah, so he watches watch football. Thank, he thank you for football saving him. Baseball. Yeah. So, so he'll get... Yeah, so so he may fan. not oh, jump... You're a baseball fan, New York Listen. Yankees. He may not jump yeah, into it with you, too, but yeah. if Steve and I are talking about it, or the Steves and I are talking oh, we'll about it... we'll make sure. Then he might get into it. Also, if a friend in school get into it or... Because I, I, my dad didn't really watch wrestling, but somehow I ended up, like, because everybody I knew, uh, you know, especially like my buddy Chris, we ended up watching wrestling. And I would host the pay-per-views at my house. Like, it just became a thing. So, like, nobody in my house watched wrestling. Some of my cousins did. Mm. Uh, but that's how I got into it. Like, I guess a co- mo- most of my friends and some of my cousins watched, and that was it. Yeah, see, like, like we watched it, and then... When I was younger, it tied in, right? Because then you had Hogan on the Rocky movies, right? And and yeah, Mr. Three, T, and Mr. Ka- right? Uh, Mr. T, Mr. T, Mr. T. Uh, Suburban Commando. So I actually, you know, what's it funny? all tied in. You know I what I mean? Saw, For me, what was it, it? Was it's like oh here they were well, wrestling. So I was more into when the Rock was in and like degeneration. Yeah, the Attitude Era. Yeah. It was funny when I was in. Uh, I think it was. And King that was Party. when it was provocative. The Attitude what? Era, but not the Golden Era too much. It wasn't. I mean, I that watched much. like Yokozuna yeah. and like Hulk Hogan. But that was that still was like the tier was, of like, the era, was, yeah. But yep. I, I was like a huge fan, especially Hulk Hogan at the time was my favorite. He was my idol. I always wanted to be like him. And I played a real point, American at my wedding as my entrance. I am so jealous. Yes. No, you I swear to God. Yeah, that's what For you when, Nicole, when Nicole and I came in to so, the reception so hall. So how, how does <laughs> Nicole like, We just want to make sure everybody understands. Yeah, well, even though we're fresh oh, off the boat, well, we're real so Americans. So Nicole and I... Uh, this September, we have been together 27 years because we got together at 18. So we weren't married 27, but been together 27 years. So, um, and she reminded me that I didn't know. I was laughing. We talked about it in the last podcast. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna get into it, but it was great that when we talk, I'm who I am, right? You guys know, like who I am on the podcast or on the dojo or out. I'm very consistent. Like this is what you're getting. So she knew what she was getting from day one. And when I when I said, "Hey, I really want to come into the, I, I want to do Real America. You can do whatever else you want with the wedding. I just want to come into did Real America." You, and she goes, "No, no, 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 no." I did. We, 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 it was a tearaway yeah, tux. No, we didn't. Right? Right? The tux underneath yeah, it. That'd been so I funny. I know. I didn't, didn't fully, I didn't overly. Please. You're right. I should have replanned it second time. I, hey, you know when you do vow renewals. I did that. Yeah. There you go. Did that at first grade. First What's grade, that? We, you had, we had to do a, um, you know, we want it was supposed to be some talent show type thing or something. You do a lot of talent shows. I'm noticing. Yeah, yeah. Where yeah, you got to show off this talent? <laughs> but <laughs> I went in and, and, I, and I had the uh, all Steve and I no actually cause I had the uh, the because uh, I was part of the fan club back in the early '90s of the WWF. And I had the cassette that had all the songs, but they didn't have Hulk Hogan's. So uh, old school. Hogan. I took the old Can't you know spell. tape recorder yeah. that had you know with the big cassette and everything, and I put it up to the screen on one of the uh, rest uh, one of the pay per views I had recording a song. So I played it. So I actually came in from down the hallway. I walked in, and I'm doing the whole ear oh, doing yeah. this. I'm doing the tearing apart, and in my head, I'm thinking, Oh my god. The glory, everybody cheering, just like how they do for Hulk Hogan. Now, looking back on that, I'm just thinking, oh, my God, what was I smoking? Why did I, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, it's funny. How did I do that? You know, it's it funny. Is we'll do that when get we're the hype. sometimes. Where you're trying to get the kids louder, and you'll do like the... No <laughs> kid actually knows where it comes from. But nope, it's for no. the parents. I was going, uh, but it's for the parents. But for you the have parents, parents when they have see that, they're like throwing back to the parents. Heads, but like, but yeah. speaking of that, I actually have, and I probably still have it somewhere in the office, I have a CD, because I bought the CD of, of 
wrestling. The anthology. Th- they would the sell. I don't. I, I no. They were coming out in volumes. I have. Yeah. I yeah. specifically bought the one that had the Rocks theme song on it. Yeah, it's the yeah. Attitude Era anth- uh, oh, aggression. anthology. It might be. It uh, could be I aggression. Be, no, I think it might be aggression. I had it yeah, yeah, from cool. when I was a kid. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so it had the Rocks on it, and it had Degeneration X. Yep. And, and uh, would HPK, you can't play any of those in school? Yep. The Heartbreak Kids. Uh, he was my favorite. Oh, uh, Joe Michaels. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I love the Rock. The Rock was like my favorite. Um, as Shawn Michaels is coming out, like like Shawn Michaels on the way out, kind of. Yeah, yeah. But HBK <laughs> was. Yeah, I mean, listen, The Rock was The Rock was easily the best on the mic, consistently, consistently. Yes, yeah, he yeah. was the best. You know, Stone Cold. I think that character laid the way for The Rock to be able to do the things he did because he had that. It was it was the first probably in a long time bad guy that got cheered when he fought um yeah, right, the yeah. Hitman Hart. Fight the yeah, band. What, what, Hitman, yeah, the which, Hitman, which, and so then start, and, started and Vince. Later. No, that's when he got into it with Vince. That's when he. Oh, got yeah, there. that's when it turned over. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. That's when, when it turned Stone over. Cold became Stone Cold Steve Austin. Was against Hitman. No, no, I'm saying when he became like before. Oh, that was, character. He, he oh, was yeah. he was stunning ring, Steve no, Austin. Like, but he, no, that was WCW. They, I know. He was the ringmaster, and then when he finally became Boop. Stone Cold Steve Austin, won the King of the Ring and beat Jake the Snake Roberts, and he said, "Austin oh, 316 he said, "I just whooped your bleep." Okay, bleep. I did it for you. Tushy. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> Tushy. Um, but that was like the first character where you were like, you know, he's a bad guy, but everybody cheered for him. He was the first good like cheered bad guy where he didn't care who you were i'm fighting you i'm gonna take you out and then all of a sudden it was one of those things it was one of those things it was one of those things where the people kind of were able to suspend the the fiction of it it basically broke out of of the whole he's good at his job you're a good guy you're a bad guy Everybody, exactly. When you guys wrestle, everybody wants the good guy to win, and if the bad guy wins, it's only because well, you, somebody interfered. Somebody no, but cheated. I, but I think right. Dave had, a, had the nail on the head. What got him also popular is that he would go against the, Vince, the and right, everyone's right. like, "I want to hit my balls." <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I want. I want to do that I'm, to my I'm, guy. Who talks I'm back to me. He broke that character part. Of what a good guy, bad guy. That's oh, he it, did. Yeah. Where yeah. it's like, no, because this one actually attacked him. He was good, and he's still didn't, good. But he still attacked the bad didn't guy. Didn't something just happen with? He just attacked everybody. Didn't. Is The Rock, like, does he own part of WWE? So, so as you know, TKO now owns the WWE, the same company that owns TKO UFC. TKO owns both WWE. Yes, and UFC. Whoa, whoa, the same company owns it, and they formed. Yeah, they formed. TKO, They, they yes. merged. Yeah, they so, merged together. The Rock just became an executive on the board of TKO. Oh. So, which then puts him above for to be able to make decisions for WWE. But it doesn't limit him to not make decisions for UFC as well, obviously. Yeah, but they're trying yeah. to keep them as separate entities as yeah. best they can. And, yeah. and the, the timing is good because they've made some big deals. They already announced the Netflix transition for Monday Night yeah, Raw. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm on board with that. For, it's kind of weird, honestly. Reason. It's kind of weird. Well, it, it, the thing it's, is, it's got to be yeah. a preview that Netflix got to send out. Hey, this is how we're going to do this. Right. Because all of a sudden they go like... Oh. Or hey, you want to watch Monday Night Raw? Great! Oh, by the way, we're upping your your uh, your pr- uh, subscription. Of, yeah, you know, they're going to try to pull like, that wait, nonsense. What? Like, well, when are I'm they like, like? When are they releasing it too? Like, are they going to release it at eight well, p.m. on I, Monday night? I don't know and why. Then you can stream it, or is it just going to be like on I Monday? I don't know you can why when they came up with the WWE Network. Okay, when they first started, yeah, it was no, I remember nine, that. Nine ninety nine a month. Yeah, but it bombed but, financially. But, it terrible, yeah. but the thing is, it was okay. You didn't have it because I had it. I did, too, and I would have been nice that. Oh, wait a minute. I, well, at first I thought. I was able to watch Raw and SmackDown yep, you through there, you and then it's like, yeah. no, you're on cable, and then they will add it on, but you won't see those episodes till like two yeah, months. Yeah, you were you were able to go back and but rewatch. What's prior happened episodes is a lot of these streaming yeah, services yeah, yeah. Are, are financially struggle because it's not a, the monthly subscription cost is not enough to maintain fuel it. both making content. Uh, you know, because you didn't have advertising money, which is TV and that's always had thing, advertising. That's money. new too, though. Now that they're making their own content, there's that additional expense before well, you were just saying. bringing content. With the additional in. expenses, you uh, uh, you know, to make your own content. Because what made what made Netflix big was when they really started making their own content. But I wonder yep. if that's, that's cheaper yep. than licensing fees for other people's movies. You know maybe, what I mean? I wonder. Maybe in the, like the long run. My fear, I don't my know. fear I don't is. Know. They've been playing, they've been testing this game now. So, like, it was an NF, the NFL game, uh, Green Bay, I think, right? Was it Green Bay's? I think. Uh, or it might not have been. It was the Chiefs. The Chiefs. Yeah. It was, it the, was Chiefs the Chiefs. Game. Thank you. The Chiefs game was 
solely and exclusively a playoff game on Peacock. There was no other way to watch it right. than subscribing so to Peacock. So the people that have You're cable welcome, that don't get Peacock are <laughs> like, what do I need Peacock? So for? people had to people had to like literally subscribe, and then yeah, you could subscribe and then cancel right away. But like the amount of people that don't can't. Y- yeah, y- if they keep five percent, they won. Like, yeah, yeah, at, at but, all. but it's a yeah. dangerous because last year they played that game with an exclusive game on Peacock. This year they did it with a playoff game. They did it with two games. They did it with a regular season game and they did it with a playoff game. And now it's Thursday a, Night Football was exclusively on Amazon. Prime. Well, and Peacock is all the old pay-per-views for WWE are now pay-per-views through Peacock well, yeah, for no I, additional well, fee. Thursday Night Football yep. is exclusive on, on Amazon, Amazon Prime. Prime Video so oh, it, wow. It's, I didn't know yes, that. Too. Yeah, every, th- yeah, every yeah. Thursday you had to watch it on Amazon Prime. Yep. So it's like it's setting this I weird... I mean, like everybody has Prime anyway. So really It's setting this weird precedent, though, of like they're slowly starting to pull away from these cable networks. So I'm worried, like, you're going to pay so much in subscription services over the... And you and I had a pretty good conversation about it. I totally agree. I think, fast forward five years from now, we will be paying the same, if not more, in oh, order yeah. to, Because there will be such a split on the content, and you'll want, like, everybody will want you'll a little want bit. you several different streaming services, and then the yeah. cable companies control the internet. So the internet's going to go up. Oh, no, you're using see, more bandwidth. Sorry, we got to jack your Well, it's price. the only money they're going to make the, left. They have no yeah, other revenue. The, 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 Cable's down, well, phones are down. Sports what keeps people watching TV. Well, I think... What, so once what, that's gone. I think what might happen is that if that's the thing, if the streaming services get that big, they'll buy out the cables and... No, nah. and we'll take we'll take over the internet the internet part. They don't need to, and then they'll have yeah, all that. Yeah, no, I don't think. But they'll... hopefully, and I'm praying that if that is where it's going, like cable will be gone, dead, buried forever, and we're gonna have these streaming services that they'll still keep it under the price as much as cable would have been. Maybe no. they, almost like, a, just, almost like a individually at, they will, no, but no, no, not I'm, as a group. I'm saying I'm saying like you know like a shot at cable. Like, see, you could have done this cheaper all this time, and we were able to do see, it. Cable would never raise cable would have done better without the channel bundling. They were just like. You can pick and choose what channels you want. They would have done better. Yeah, but... not like well, Sling. I remember there's one channel I want in this package. Oh, we need to pay for that. I just yeah. want one channel. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's always the problem with that. Yep. You know. Yep. But yep. I, I I couldn't believe WWE's going to just Netflix. I just learned just that for today. Raw though, just for Raw Smack- and SmackDown. No, they talk about SmackDown too. What? I didn't well, see so that. Yeah. Well, I just saw that it was they raw. Got through Fox, so they have to get it. Fox no, 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 Google. not Fox. SmackDown got SmackDown got moved, but it's still on cable. Yeah, it's on Channel Seven saying. or something like that now. Well, I know oh, yeah, Fox, it's, Fox it's is Fox. running it, so they're saying like, "Ah, uh, no, you need to do what we, we're doing because they went yeah. because they." Uh, forgot Fox what, has a hand in that. Yeah, they have a hand in that because which I was means that the Disney contract. had. Did a they hand. announce <laughs> like how do they? Disney has everything. It was a big. They had a big, <laughs> a big board a, meeting that was big, public. But like, they, announced they announced it. everybody. They announced the Rocks adding as the executive, one of the executives, and they announced the Netflix thing. Oh. Going, right, back, going back to wrestling, cause... The Rock actually rang the stock exchange bell that day of the announcement. The next day after the announcement, well, or the day go... of something like that. Going back, mean, to... are, they, are they announcing like, do fans know to go to Netflix? Yes. Um, well, it's not happening until twenty twenty five. Yes, not until twenty twenty five. So, no, so they, 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 they haven't the public, really, like... like it's in the it's in the progress, right? Is it's in the works right now? So then, what's going to happen is is that probably later on this year. They're going to start making announcements. Just kind of like prep everybody. Hey, guys, like, you know we're going to be jumping in Netflix. Does that affect yeah. pay-per-views? No. N- no. Because pay-per-views, well, now they're called premium live events because you don't have to pay-per-view anymore. They're just on Peacock. Oh. Yeah. Which but it's are, weird now. You have the two streaming services. Technically, when you think competitors they just change the name, name of it. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah, trying to be politically correct So Netflix correct and it. Peacock are two competitors, but they're going to be... They have a hand in Netflix both. will get their live business, and Peacock will get their premium sh- shows. The premium live events. Yeah. It's already live forming events. like cable used to do. It's already. It's already. They're all coming yeah. full circle. It's going to be like Back to the Future. You're going to have a wall with a bunch of different little TVs, and each one's going to have its own streaming service on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. They, so Back to the Future knew before us. They did. They're like the Simpsons. They knew it all. So, but going back to being us all being wrestling fans, Royal Rumble. Correct. Tomorrow. Steve, going with you. Hi. Okay. Yes. You got a chance to be in the Royal Rumble. Oh, God. What number would you want to draw? 29. 29? 29. Dave. I'm going number one. I want to be the whole time. Oh, Nick. God. 31. <laughs> You'll be the water boy. Yeah, for me, for probably 25. <laughs> the, that's really funny, though. Uh, he came running out after number 30 came out as if he was at number 30. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> you, you were never <laughs> in the rumble. In the rumble. What? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm number 31. <laughs> me? Me? That would be an R Truth thing. R Truth would oh totally do that. that. <laughs> for me, number one. 
Eight. See? Eight. See? Eight. I want to be number one, go all the way through. And guess who I would want to the 30 man be? Like who would be Who's the Steve? 30th guy? The Steve. last guy out? Yeah, like who would be the last? Like you're, oh, you want to give me Steve? You're, yours. Th- you're 30. You're 30 in the, uh, you're the last guy. Now yeah. there's down to two. Who are you going against? Oh, like from the guys right now or today? But, oh, no. Um, right now. Let's go with right now. So who do you want the, the number 30 to be? Who would you take on? Or who would you yeah. take on? Like who would you're, be the last? If it's, who, are you, you want, who do I want you to take person? on or anyone to take on? You take yeah. on. So who do you want Steve to take on? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I know. Brock Lesnar. Yeah, seriously. Michael Cole, put him in there. Bring him back in. Bring him back in there. I'll take Michael Cole. On. What about you, Steve? Who would you finish? Oh, you I be? don't know. Paul Heyman. <laughs> You'll never get him over the ropes. Looking though. for an easy one. Satino Morelli. No, he's not active. He's not active. Nice try. He's not active. Got to be active. So Dink and Doink are out. Yes, they're out. Dag nabbit. Well, the Bushwhackers. What Bushwhackers? Luke and Butch. No, I think I'll think about it. You say yours first. Luca loved Luke and Butch because I had them in an old video game, and he he was doing this like down the in the basement over and over again. <laughs> oh, it's too funny. Oh, I actually, well, I'll come back to that in a second with the Bushwhackers. So, who's because your guy? Who's your number thirty? Brock Lesnar. Shoot, I, I know it. you. I called you that did. too. You did call. Why that? would you want? So you it. want Brock to throw you out? Did I, you even last that long? Because <laughs> there's no, nothing else happening. Other no, than you're getting the tossed. Is, the guy, on your head. the guy's a beast. He's an animal. There, there's no, and I'd like him to throw me. No out. question yeah. out about it. But the thing is, I think like talk if, us if through actually, your chance here. If I ever, <laughs> uh, and I'm just saying, like I, he probably end up beating me. Probably, probably. He's a super know. athlete. But the thing is, the yeah, thi- that UFC world champion <laughs> slash collegiate if wrestling. no other but, wrestler came in and it was, well, he, they just skipped the number well, thirty, there's a I'm, chance I'm about, he might be. Well, right? the thing is, but the thing is, like, of training and like, and, I, and I've seen how he wrestles. He wrestles. You know, he's a completely different wrestler than he is in the UFC fighting. You know his yes, he's even saying, better. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was a, he was a collegiate is, champion in wrestling too. Yes, no, no. You I'm mean saying, like regular? You mean like pro wrestling? Pro wrestling. Yeah, yeah. Pro wrestling. Yeah. So I'm saying me is is I'm all I've always believed. So you in, would be the equivalent the, of the I'm, Brooklyn I'm Brawler. About, I'm going back to old school training, like Rocky style. You know, like what would you just waking up four o'clock in yeah, the morning for what forty years? You know, <laughs> yeah. Um, what would your gimmick be? My gimmick would be well the blessed because it'd be a miracle. Holy <laughs> <laughs> water in his well, eyes. Uh, on himself. He just bathes <laughs> in it. Please. <laughs> and then I pull out a cross and I bang him in the No, head he's gotta be like the Jar Jar Binks of wrestling where he wins by an accident. Like, yeah, yeah. like <laughs> Lesnar goes to clothesline and misses him and trips over the rope or something. I mean, I, my oh, thing would obviously yeah. be I, I would be a croc themed wrestler. Nice. Uh, I like it. I nah, like you, it. you know me, I will be all charging full on hit in like black to tire, you know, like Black sunglasses. No, you wouldn't. You'd be He'd American be flags from big, uh, top to He'd bottom. He'd be rocking. No, He'd, He'd be, be Sergeant be rocking. You come into your new you know song. Funny? Real. You know wait, what? You know your what? song could be real or American. <laughs> <laughs> I am the realist. But my, my dream. <laughs> but it's funny. My sort of like what my attire would be. It was actually kind of basically how Roman Reigns was in the Shield. Mm. His attire. Mm. I was like. My God, that's exactly how I want my attire to be. But the only thing a is security a big, guard, big red V, V rocket, yeah. you know, in the middle. Um, <laughs> you know, the you can't do a big red V. That stands for other things from back in the day. My yeah, friend. victory. <laughs> yeah, not exactly. <laughs> not even gonna rock your heart picture show. Don't. Exactly. Any, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, I would be totally croc themed. And I would actually throw my Crocs or hit people with my Crocs. Like you did in the video. That'd be, that'd be really funny. You would be, uh, you would be, really be um, That's the only so graceful. Won, though, by that fight. So graceful. You so graceful. That's my move. What would you so be? Stevie Luke is like your perfect wrestling attire. Too. No, I, backwards I, hat. I'd be something. Um, Let me react. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I, I'd, react be, to I'd that. be something. Your like, your finishing move would be the reaction. That's not bad. I uh, know. I, I I would want to be something. The more bad reaction. Arts related though, honestly, I'd, uh, the, I'd be like my I'd finish. Like, I already. I, you're not I, Steve Blackwell. Like all right, I've so always, you can't do it. I've yeah, always Steve had Blackwell. a finishing move name though. Uh, you do have one. What I've had it? one since I was a kid. I always thought it was funny. Okay, what is it? Uh, the f bomb. Because people would be like, drop the f bomb, and that would be my that would catch on. That would yeah, catch that's on. That's what I'm saying. F for finisher. Yep. Nice. That's exactly what it That's means. That's it. Yeah. That would be. But now, what would the move be? Because you're not picking up any of those guys. Well, I know. So. Well, I was going to say. I was going <laughs> to say. Blowing his back I was going to say. Exactly. If the question got. He was a shoulder. That's what I was going to say. If the question got to me, like, who would you want to come out at the end of the Royal Rumble? 
I can't lift any of those guys. Yeah, the up lightest over. guy, that's right. That's I why I said Michael Cole. I'll, I'll lift up I'm Michael like Cole for one size. time, bro. And even that's he was why. probably a lot bigger than oh, me. That, that's why I would have said That's why he's like six foot. He always seems small to me. Was he like six foot? You want to know he's why? Thin. He's small to you he's because he was below. Yeah, so he's like he's, he's below six, the average height of a wrestler. No, X Pac was six one. Six one. He was the same height as me. I will confirm this right now. Check that out because you gotta understand. Triple what about H- Ray Mysterio Jr.? He's, he's, he's small, five, right? Eight, five, he's nine. just Ray Mysterio. Five now, five, five eight. Five eight, five Yeah, nine. I can look up both. Hang on. X yeah, Ray first. Mysterio yeah. is small. But, still bigger than us. <laughs> but the... Um, but the doink. Thing, but the thing doink. Is, doink the Clown was big. Yeah, yeah. No, Dink. Yeah. Dink and Doink. Oh, yeah. Dink, yeah. Six one. He is six one. Oh, my God. Told you, God. six foot. Six foot, I told you. B.A. Billy Go, uh, Triple H. Yeah, yeah. Like he's got, I think he's five seven. Five eight, five seven. That's crazy. Five eight, five eight. You think those guys are six foot, but those guys are huge. I'm always amazed. Five six. I'm always amazed when you have, like, you like when you see, like, like athletes that are certain sizes, you like like football players, for instance. Like there's some quarterbacks that don't look that big, and you see them, and you're like, oh, they're not that big. And then I you see them in the press conference next to normal people, and you're like, oh my god. The Giants. I think the reason why you thought X Pac was so small is because he was always standing next to Kane. Yeah. So and Kane is almost well, not seven really feet tall. Ra- you had him against well, he Razor DX. Ramon. He was in DX. Who was six DX. seven? He was exactly. six seven. You had uh, so you had these monsters that was six ten, six eleven. Yeah. So yeah. he is Undertaker standing was next 6'10". to people who is um are giants. Well, uh, yeah. gigantic. I think if you also had so. Giant Gonzalez, who was eight foot foot tall back in the day. How tall was against Undertaker six ten? Where he's like, how tall was Heartbreak Kid? Shawn Michaels. Look it up right now. He's six three. Eleven. No, he's six foot. No, he's right up. Looking it up. Because he was. I always thought he was like a tinier. Yeah, no, I think he's right at six foot. Hey. Right at six foot, I think. You did six foot? Yeah, right at six Yeah, so see, I, I would not qualify see, as a wrestler. But I no, two. but so Ray Mysterio, <laughs> you asked? <laughs> six, six one. one. <laughs> one. Okay, uh, six uh, one. So Ray Mysterio was six. Five, five, six. Five, six. So Ray close. Mysterio was five, oh, six. Oh, see, I could do that. Yeah. But he's not throwing but, anybody out over over the ropes. No, either. he's doing. No, he um, does. Uh, he'd be doing the uh, what, what is the move uh, called? The Hurricane Rana. He'd be Aerial. 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 He's jumping off the actual ropes. Like or, every yeah. other move. he won the World Rumble because he I could do that. Went for the Hurricane Rana, and he went to throw out the ring, but he held onto the ropes. They pulled Randy Orton right over with his legs. And whoosh. yep, exactly. Yeah, see, no, he I, also I, beat Brock, Brock Lesnar for the world t- title, but there was cheating with. Uh, Eddie Guerrero, but still. Whatever. Yeah, see, but I, I see. I could do. He still I, has it on the books. He beat Brock Lesnar. I could do. Too. I could do the flashy gives stuff. Friends. I would do the flashy but stuff. But see, I have two finishes. You do or you don't. I you would. That's what I would yeah. have to guys do. Guys are size. Guys you have are to. size. I would just cheat to be able to do that religiously. Stuff. I would be like Rick Unless Flair, a freak of nature. mixed. I would cheat. I would eye rake and every weapon possible. There'd be nothing above, above the belt Yo, at all. Yo, she's the Kenny Yeah, the, the, the all side, of it. Well, all that's of what it. Besides these guys, I have two finishers. I have one of a, of a slam and one of an aerial as well. Because again, oh, now what's no. your aerial? Oh God! So Where's your, your third finisher? Flop. You know, you're, you're, <laughs> no, no, no. your so, third finisher is not getting off the mat. <laughs> so no, I call actually, this the laced. <laughs> so I have the rocket slam and the rocket launcher. So the rocket launcher is after I would do the slam. Thoroughly, I did. Thoroughly I, I told you. I, I've had this idea since I was a kid. So, so basically, you know how you set up you know right? for a power bomb? Yes. Okay. You pick them up, slam. Well, what I would do is, is like, um, I forgot, I think it was Tess that used to, or it was JBL, he used to grab between the legs, lip, and slam them that way. Like, so what I would do is, I would lift, grab, and Hold the microphone close to your mouth. Sorry. Sorry. So, uh, bring it down to a sidewalk slam. That was a test. Then I would go to the top rope, and the whole thing is, oh, it's going to be weird here, hold this for me. Oh my God, I don't want to be so, part of this. So... Yeah, keep it close. So I actually will go up. <laughs> you just smacked him in the face with the microphone. And I would just throw my hands up and jump and actually launch myself like a like like. Okay, di- so like a I just want you to know your career and consists of one match. <laughs> You'll never recover. It will be a dive, but my arms come. So let me down, ask. Right across the chest and neck. How many times has Boy. one of your sons experienced the rocket launcher? Or <laughs> oh, yeah, seriously, no, but you know who's experienced it? My brother. My You've brother, done it to him. My brother and I would wrestle all the time in the living no, room. No, so did you do? Did you remember when backyard wrestling was big? Yeah, like yeah. Somewhere in middle yep. school or high school with us. Yeah, I I, I did some backyard wrestling. It still is pretty of, big, actually. Is it really? It still is. There's yeah. still there's it still people big, that do it. It got big when I was like when we were like what, middle school. Middle school, right? Middle school. Like, what happened was I, was I was in a couple of matches. I was in a it Royal Rumble, big. and I was in in it was backyard, so we didn't have ropes. It was just mats in the corner. Yeah, you just had to push the guy off the mats, and. I, 
I was, I threw out, like, I eliminated like four or five people. And then all of a sudden, somebody grabbed me from behind and pulled me. And I'm like, no, that's not fair. And then I was in a triple Who was threat. the ref? Your mom? Did she get mad? Do you yell at her? Nah, my mom did not like any of that stuff. No kidding. <laughs> but, and then I was no, in a triple threat I don't, match for the Intercontinental title. Well, somebody actually brought a chair, you know, fake hit and everything. Yeah. But. I, you know, when I don't I, think I, I anybody's got parents approved of the backyard. Yeah, no, no, no. No. But you got to remember, was this, was, the this is the 90s. You would ride your bike. To the no parents princess. knew where you were. No. You just yeah. rode your bike. There was no but, cell phone, no tracking your GPS or where you were. Which is crazy because none of this was on, like, a, there was no YouTube. So these are just kids in their backyard. There is this now. <laughs> but, but these are just kids in their backyard. Having you weren't fun. even filming it. You were just no, You did it to do it. Do just it. to do it. I want to do it. But I mean, most of the top wrestlers today, they have pictures of themselves as kids oh, doing yeah. this stuff yeah, in the backyard. You know? yeah. Well, yeah, there was one. I was in a triple threat, uh, and uh, for the intercontinental title, after the chair hit, it's on the ground. So I'm laying on it, and the kid comes over, runs, and jumps up, belly flops me right at the edge of the chair, was right on my thigh. Ouch! And I, my whole leg went numb. Yeah, and I, I just imagine. like I tapped Do you out remember? Like, you remember uh, the bruise I had? I couldn't walk for like three. Do you weeks. remember? Because he trained with us too. Do you remember Steve Shannonberg? Yeah, Shannonberg? yeah. So yeah. he trained martial arts with us too, but he was also very into like the backyard wrestling. He, he actually went on to become a wrestler. Mm, that's like, awesome. He never made that's it like cool. pro pro. But he did was shows. Was in the Indies? Like, like the he had yeah, like Indies. little bit independent, of Indies. In the independent circuits? Yeah, 100%. Oh. All yeah. right, cool. That's cool. I mean, it's I, a tough racket if you don't the, make it up to the top. I, no. I, I always dreamt. Although the independence just, is starting to get pretty big. I always dreamt yeah. that oh, yeah, one day yeah, WrestleMania, I would be able to host, you know, the, the final match, you know, just mm. the, just like. just. You I remember, can. I remember when, when, we play, when we play the game we'll on play PlayStation. The, <laughs> when we host. start our offshoot gaming channel, Gaming and Crocs. You can host. We'll do that. But, and um, yeah, then there you go. But the thing is, like, I remember uh, Shawn Michaels did a whole thing. We went against Bret Hart. It's the first time he won the title. And they oh, showed yeah, his yeah, training. Yeah, He's yeah, going yeah, up yeah, and down yeah. the bleachers and everything. And then there's that moment he broke character, sitting in the middle of the ring, the childhood dream, sitting there holding the title. And again, yes, we know it's plot. Like, okay, you're going to be in the title. I'm going to drop the title to you and everything. No, but there's got to be the, some real emotion to the moment. Right, though. but they're saying you're sitting in the middle of the ring like, I did it. Like, my dream came true. Well, it's a, I mean, it's the same but thing. Like, there's real emotion when actors win awards. Oh, because yeah. you know exactly because they they've honed their. Or you craft. finish yeah. your first big product, yeah. your first big you, way to you, the top. Well, even well, though you know, well, the thing is a lot more like, people will happens, attack. Yeah. Well, a lot of thing is a lot more people will attack people of wrestlers and everything. Like it's pre-done. You I don't do think that they do anymore. Act. Yeah, you do that. that. Well, it's, it's, true, it's it's less but, now, I yeah. think, because people respect the fact that they're athletes. Yeah, the yes. work because not everybody has the talent for them to give them the title. Like they, otherwise, then that means that everybody would have to hold the title. But it's the same thing with exactly. like, they don't give the same it to thing everybody. With, like I'm, I've met a couple of stuntmen uh, when I was he more heavy into the world of tricking, like aerial martial arts, acrobatic martial arts. Um, and it's only now that stuntmen are starting to get a little bit more uh, like recognition, recognition and credit. Because for a long time, you know, they don't even the awards like when they do Emmy or Grammys or whatever they are, Grammys or something, Oscars, right? yeah. Oscars, all the stuntmen and stuff. That's all they do that off camera, yeah. off TV. Nobody cares about them. Yeah. But that's what makes the movies exciting or the stunt. People, oh, so yeah. now they're starting to get a little bit more credit as, as time is marching on. I think they're starting to do some more recognition, like you said, uh, around a lot of the off camera. Well, let's consider them off camera, even though they're on camera. Right. You don't know who it is, people, and I think that's great because those and are the folks that with, make with, it happen. With the, with the wrestling, it's um, a lot of athletes that are like crossing over and do it. It's like, oh wow, this is hard, and I thought it would be. And when, when well, they had King Velasquez that. for like uh, six months, uh, if that. And it was just not like he could not. He sell. did that he, just for the payday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I didn't think. But he, he was, couldn't like, sell he himself had, as a character. Was, it was horrible. He was, through, he, was he had to get but knee replaced. I didn't think yep. he would be and good then anyway. It, was just, it didn't. Well, I didn't happen. think he would be good anyway. Not that he wouldn't be good, but a lot of his. He's a problem, great fighter, but yeah. yeah, right. But he was the reason he was on his way out of the UFC was in his prime. He was probably one of the best heavyweights ever, yep. but. Agreed. He was so diligent and hard in his training that he broke his body down, and his body just couldn't. Well, and he beat, uh, he beat Brock base. Lesnar, and then yeah. he came in to help out Rey Mysterio. Um, and that was the story it. behind that. But yeah. then, then when they did the pay per view fight for it, it was over two minutes. But the thing is, he came out when he, you know to go after Brock, when Brock Lesnar was like scared because I was like. 
It was Kane. That's the, the guy, guy that beat me. He yeah. was still wearing his knee brace. Yeah. yeah so yeah. he needed a knee replacement. It was like, it, like after that pay per view, it's like, all right, come on. He was going to and it was a, it was a rough match. Well, like, he was like, riddled like, with injuries. Brock was carrying him around. He yeah, was yeah. riddled with injuries after injuries after injuries. That's right. what. That's what. Well, really after that match, his career. After too. that match, he went right to the hospital because yeah. he was scheduled for it. So that's why the match was over in two minutes. And everybody was so upset over it. Amazing athletes that just, I mean. The bodies break down. It just you, you can only go at that high in RPM for so long. Well, even strong. if you, even if you see in the wrestling, you know, uh, genre, a lot of them, you know, once you hit your forties, you're in trouble already. Oh yeah, especially you know, the they've bodies. Been doing just, it since you were, yeah, especially the aerial guys like uh, oh, Ricochet. they can't do it. Ricochet, how he's going to be done after a while. Yeah. He like the guy's like phenomenal shape, and he can. Well, boom, it comes straight down like Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Which one of the know? which one of the Paul boys is just Logan? Logan. Logan so Paul. he just didn't he just he just he has it, a he, title right now. No, nope. but, but he's not doing anything. He's like I'm a wrestler. Yes. Yeah, he stopped the boxing and all yeah. that. Yeah, 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 he's yeah, just yeah, like I'm, I'm he's a pro wrestler. Lot, actually, he's surprisingly athlete. really talented. I saw talented. him at the last Royal yeah. Rumble last year. That was the well, first time I saw him. Did that with Ricochet? Oh my! I was like, wow, okay. But oh, the two of them have done man. stuff I've never seen before. But they're, yeah. but they're still alive. The yeah. episode yeah. before the Rumble, Ricochet did the flip over the top ropes and landed on his feet just yes. to walk up to Logan Paul. Yes. That was wild. I've never yeah. seen anyone do that before. I'm sure they've done it, but I've never seen him do it He did it back before. in NXT. And, he did oh, it back yeah, in that. NXT, and they told, That's actually like told thing. him, like, uh, don't try that anymore. You, you don't want to get hurt. And he's like, okay. And then he hasn't done it for a long time. Then all of a sudden, he says, he he on the blue, he just it went, like, I'm doing it. It's insanely wild to even watch it happen. Uh, it was awesome. And then the the actual match where they jumped off the opposite ropes into each other and body yep. to body. Yeah. Yep. He, he, for the fact that he isn't a professional wrestler, you could have fooled me. Well, Logan, he right? well now, 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 he's, now he's a champ. Yeah, Did you see? He's, he's the, I'm sure you guys all saw the thing with him and Rey Mysterio, right? Yeah. With their match? Where he, yes. Where he, so he. But explain it a little bit. Though. Yeah, so, so Logan Paul and Rey Mysterio were in a match, and Rey went to do a moonsault off the rope where, where you bounce off the rope, you flip yeah, backwards. Yeah. Messed and, it up. Uh, Logan was actually a couple few steps back too far. So Ray was about to land like flat, like face first onto the ground, and he would have definitely paralyzed himself. But Logan was able to react quick enough and catch him. In time, just before his, you can his see head it was not like he ran. Yeah, a good like he took almost like a deep lunge. Yep, to catch just him and before then fall he made backwards. it. So it was funny. He had in, missed in, that move in a, by inter- a lot. when he was interviewed about it. You know, all the headlines were saying that Logan Paul saved Rey Mysterio, and he said. Uh, great, yeah. I, mean, I, I guess I kind of did, but I also feel like I almost killed him too. Because yeah. Like, yeah, I was, was too but, far out. Yeah, you know, but you know oh. they get a lot of heat because they're YouTube guys. But like, they're both talented. Yeah, but they're, they're talented. They, they are. Can't they are get talented. As far as they but, are, with having some well, people down. give them, people give them nonsense like the the other brother in the boxing world. Yeah, yeah. and it's yeah. like, but if Jake he Paul. if he was not a YouTube celebrity and the the personality yeah. that he is. He'd just be an upcoming boxer. He'd be like, wow. People would just treat him as another boxer that likes wow. to run his mouth. No, but that's coming up. Like, that's showing a good... But that but shows the, promise. But, but the yeah. other things that annoys other people, and even a lot of WWE fans, and I see a lot of their cutting comments the and everything, they're, they're cutting the line. Like, just because, okay, you're big on YouTube, and he don't get me wrong, he's a phenomenal shape, Logan Paul. He does put on a good performance. But it's like he is a good looking Paul. But put it this way, like, amongst Pauls, it's like somebody in the martial arts that was, you know, like, oh, hey, I, I've trained, I did this a couple of times. I'm phenomenal shape. I've done this. Hey, let me get Jessica for my black belt. No, no, yeah, I understand that to a degree, like but, I, but I also, does. I also think they did the work to make themselves that popular. That popular. Deserve it, yeah. So they didn't necessarily cut the line because they did the work. Because remember, it's all Elsewhere. around notoriety and and audience participation and engagement. Listen, he if you're, came, and but if brought, you're bad at it, you're bad at it. No, but think about yeah. it. Think that, of, the, the audience would have like, weeded him out if he was because, bad. Because I'll right give away. you for instance. I'll give you for instance. If you go to the final, go ahead, you finish your CM hit. Punk. Yep. Yes. Wrestler. He came to the world of MMA. Yes. Did terrible. It was a joke. He did terrible, and every UFC fan was like, "Forget Get this guy. Here. Get out of here." The, so yeah, he did the work. He and he was name. very popular. He was very but popular. But he couldn't finish. He came in, he performed awfully, and everybody was like, Multiple yeah, times. we don't want to see this guy. We're done. Then you have Brock Lesnar. He came in, he performed amazingly, and he won UFC fans amongst his wrestling fans. So 
yeah, you well, maybe you could cut the well, line. Don't forget, but you got to perform. Don't, for, don't forget, At which, don't which forget, Logan Paul did Lester's, big Brock time. First Huge debut. He lost in ninety seconds. He did, in a tap but out, he kept but coming back. He kept coming back. You know, which again, if CM Punk actually he buckled also, down and but he trained, also nah. but in, well, Brock was also no, no, way no, no. younger. Than CM, CM Punk, Punk was not CM getting Punk any further. He was yeah, he was maxed out. And, and I'll put it this way: um, CM Punk lost to a guy that was also making his debut. Yeah, Brock Lesnar right. lost Brock to Lesnar a world champion. Lost to a world legend. <laughs> champion legend. Right. But the thing is, he was and then came stars. back and beat him. Yeah, exactly. But the thing is, wait, Brock Lesnar also Handily. was. He was also played football. He ran like yeah, a, yeah. A yeah, he's, a, he's a total a athlete, pelvis. and he was also a uh, Minnesota like uh, state champion yep. in wrestling. Oh yeah, yeah, you know, mm-hmm. and then it's like but that's that's the point. So he did he did the work, but whether or not you cut the line, you still have to perform. You still have to, and I think the Paul boys because are Logan doing Paul could have came into the WWE and he could have hammed it, meaning he could have done a basic match. A couple punches, a couple they kicks. Used to bring like, in celebrities he, all the time, and they would do, do nothing. Like, like yeah. barely, he's. I mean, he is up high level wrestling. He is putting his self on the line, not needing to do that with the amount of money he makes already. He already almost ended his he, career with that knee injury. Yep. That he, night, yep. And he came back a few months it, later. He injured, and his knee, he, he injured his knee wrestling with Roman Reigns yep. at uh, Crown Jewel. Yep. What was it, a couple years ago? No, a, like no, last, last year. Ago. Last year. Not this, it was last a good one, match, year, too. Yeah. And he injured the knee during the match. Went on to finish, finish the, match. the match, which is something you only see like high level veteran the wrestlers Triple H doing. Move, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Triple H, and you, that that's what earned that. him you a just, lot of respect from the guys to, in the back. You just have yeah. to. I mean, once you have the opportunity, you still have to. You still have to. You, have to you got yeah, and that's what it. he did. It's, and that's the same thing. So, like in your martial arts analogy, yeah, if you came from another school, and you had, at the end of the day. Okay, you cut the line. You're taking your black. You still have to perform in that test. You're not doing yeah. that. Yep. Right. 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 No. Absolutely. Still it's have just. That pro- it's just. Well, that and also, when he did a couple matches here and there, he was a part timer. That's why a lot of people got annoyed when Brock Lesnar held the title because you didn't see him yeah, on a match yeah, on fr- a Monday Night SmackDown or a yeah. Monday Night Raw oh, yeah. or SmackDown, and he only came into the pay per view. Like one thing is uh, Dean Ambrose. That's, well, that's, he that's did not like working Brock Lesnar because on one WrestleMania right. they did. Brock, the WrestleMania was going off at seven o'clock. Brock Lesnar didn't show up to the arena till four in the afternoon. That's and become... he gets like, "What do you want to do?" He goes, ah, "We'll figure out when we get there." That's why in the match, when he, you see him like trying to call up to Brock Lesnar and he smacks him because he's like, ah, "He didn't want to work with me," so he's like, "I smacked it and put some spice to it." And then Brock Lesnar just like went crazy and suplexed a, a bunch of times. That's a problem. Him, that's a problem in UFC match. though too. Um, that you're you're hitting. That's the parallels there. Is that yeah. you get these champions, that, like the 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 mega star champions, that will fight once a year, or they'll they'll end up holding up a division because they'll go like they'll win the I division. Go fight in this and division go, I'm now. gonna go a weight class up, and you're like, yeah, that's nice. There's a million people here that are fighting for this title. Like I don't want to see. And that's when Dana's often. got to throw those like you know stem- temporary have, titles in there. I have become. Well, but there should be a requirement. Like if you win the title, well, you are required you know, five defense within the year. I'm just tired before of, you can do like, anything else. You, you just th- this whole like I want to be a double champ. How about mm. just be the champ in your division and call it that? But like you know, Nabbit, but did you know that you ruined I, everything. I it, was, it was like a rule back in like the early '90s and '80s that except for a man, you were champion. Actually. You had to defend the title from every thirty to sixty days. You had to be in the, the, the uh, yeah. title defense. In what? Match. In WWF. Uh, WWF. Oh. Like early nineties, like they made it where but there should be a rule where you have to defend your title a couple of times before you can even talk about which one are we talking about now? Because we're crossing. Okay. But they they do have a lot of crossover, and that's why they're managed by the same company these days. Yeah, I, think I blame definitely... Conor McGregor. Yeah, it's fine. It's all his fault. There's definitely crossover in just, I guess, the audience and the style of management. It's 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 interesting. It, listen, they're obviously doing something right because we're all talking about it. That's true. Yeah, you know, that's, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So they're doing something right. That is uh, true. The we one thing Brock Lesnar has not accomplished yet, though, he's in not throwing V Rocket over the top rope. So there's that. Until he Until does then, that, he has not finished that. everything. He'll probably be able to do it, but there's probably. no guarantee. <laughs> no guarantee. There is no, no guarantee. He is, might get hit with that rocket way. launcher. Okay, this needs to happen now. Yeah, we need to do this game right now. This needs to happen. Put, put it this way. with the word rocket launcher. Put, put Steve it. drives into Brock Lesnar. Put it this way. If I, if I, I still has to hope that it works. Are you one of those guys that I'll just see red? 
<laughs> I see red. I see red. I'm going to go code red. We're going to call it code red. Code, code red. red. Now we do code red. Um, <laughs> no, but the thing is, like, if I'm going to go and I'm like, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to go big. I'm going to go big. I'm going to set the bar so high that you can't even see. And that and that's just my t- mentality. When I was a kid, I was always, nah, no, me, I don't want to go that guy. I want, I'd rather go this guy. Now I'm, old, I'm like, give me the biggest, baddest dude you got. And you know what? I don't care. You're going to keep hitting me. I'm going to keep getting back Give up. me the most realistic guy. You know? I, I don't need. Yeah, I'll I'll take take I that, that, the that, that's I have why I said Michael Cole. You. I'm good. Or, or over. Like I said, like my old school favorite was, you know, Hulk Hogan. But all the way through, Undertaker. I love his persona. I love you know, how he talks. I'll yes. take on Hulk Hogan the only right thing, now. He walks, the cane, <laughs> he walks the cane now. I know. Which is he, sad. He, oh, he's on like his yeah. 30th or oh, yeah. 40th surgery. Oh, no. He's had, had like uh, 12 no. back surgeries. Yeah. yeah. Well, all those guys get so beat up. But At I think the modern, older guys even more. Well, because they, they yeah. did it so often and they didn't really have good. Like now. In all sports, there's a better understanding of recovery methods. Correct. Um, which there was back then that they didn't recover. You. But you on the road, the, you gotta do the show. Well, that. you'll see some of the wrestlers come in with like the cupping, like you know that. Yeah, like, yeah. You'll yeah, see yeah, that yeah, actually yeah. on them as they come in. And yeah, I'm sure well, there's so much going on. Ice back. baths yeah. and the uh, chron- uh, chronic uh, freezing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, 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 yeah. The, uh, but the thing is, the one thing was the biggest thing for chambers, like Hulk chambers. Hogan yeah, yeah. is when he body slammed Andre the Giant mm-hmm. because he yeah. said he felt his whole body crumble. So he had surgeries to repair his back, but that was like, yeah, that guy if he didn't do that, you know, the he'd first probably time be he did much that, better though. right now. You know, the first time he did slam. that was not on TV. He no, he's actually said it before that, but he was as big though. Andre was as heavy. He was equally uh, as uh, I, he was as heavy. No, Andre what? just kept growing though. He had gi- that giganticism. Yeah. But but yeah. I guess the Big Show had it too. But the Big Show had a procedure that actually halted it. That procedure that, wasn't oh, really? available when I was going to say that, that was that. a while. Yeah. He's rough right yeah. now. Big Show. Yeah, he's having trouble walking. If you if you watch the <laughs> interviews of him, he had the exact same. Listen, you can't be that is. big without health issues. Oh no, they, he was playing basketball. See, but you see when he got his ass. But when they did the surgery mm-hmm. initially, what it did it it's, it also halted or it, re- it drastically reduced his metabolism, and that's why he gained so much weight. Mm-hmm. And he ended yeah. up not being able to play basketball. There he was a, wrestling. So there's a fighter. Really there was a fighter in a, in the UFC. Actually, he was in Strike Force first. I want to say you remember Bigfoot Silver. Yeah. Bigfoot Silver had giganticism, so you can see it in the mm. face. And the, oh yeah, the jawline, jawline. Yeah, but he was uh, real slim. Yep. But he just kept growing, so he, he was a tall, lengthy dude mm. with this like big jaw. And, That's huge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Andre got big, but well, but the Big Show until they did the surgery was super skinny too and got really really tall. Mm. And who knows how when he he would have stopped or not height wise until he passed away. Like, you don't know. Well, but what he said, as soon as he had that surgery to halt it, is when he then started putting on weight, yeah. like fast, but real fast. It was funny. I remember um, they were old oh, school wrestlers saying, uh, you know, I think it was like Jake the Saint Roberts are at an airport one time, and they say like, you know, when Andre was five hundred twenty five pounds, he actually had him sit on one of the stand on one of the scales at the airport. Yeah, you know, they measured the luggage and everything, and it was up to seven hundred pounds. So yeah. the thing is, I a lot of people were not giving him like. No, he's five twenty five. No, he's actually like seven hundred pounds because he was seven four. But when he re- when he got first spotted, he said by Hulk Hogan in the early eighties, he was as heavy. No, he was low five hundreds, high four hundreds. But then when he at WrestleMania three, when he body Can slammed, imagine him, being that big. No. What, how would you even drive Jake, a car? Jake the Snake Roberts like, was his driver. Well, they have to pull the the actually pull the front seat out. You sit in the back seat. Yep, he actually yeah. did that. And Jake the Snake Roberts should be his driver. He goes, "Give me beer," and he would take him. And he yeah, literally a whole thirty pack. Yeah, drank it like nothing. Go down to another bar, that's... get another thirty pack. But imagine but though, thirty pack body... to him is like shots. Yeah. But that's the thing. He was so always that's in a, pain. That, that that being that big. You know? Yeah, yeah. But like he, Shaquille O'Neal is a big dude. Yes, he and is. And he has trouble like moving in like, like he has custom beds and custom cars. Mm-hmm. Yep. And well, we yep. were custom shoes. I was joking with my cousin. He's a he's a pretty big guy. Um, and so we went on we went on a cruise the cruise, mm-hmm. and in the cruise the showers kind of stop right here. And I'm like, oh, okay, for you know, I'm. Shorter guy, so oh, he had to like he's over the shower, yeah. He's, oh, it's he like Will Ferrell. down, it was like Will Ferrell like, on the elf. It. You actually, it might even be up to your like jawline because it was my brother in law's, like my brother in law's, six foot, 
Yeah, so it might have been. My brother was right like six region. six. Oh wait a minute. Oh, and they God. lived. They lived in like a little. Uh, they wait, wait, like be on the top of it, just like when we went um, to the football game, and I was. I went ahead. Yeah, you're ten. Oh, yeah. You're we're, ten. Wait, wait, wait. We can't talk about that. We're trying to get everybody together for that episode. We um never happened. Never happened. We talked about. <laughs> my brother was like six six. They lived in a little little uh, like a tiny house, mm-hmm. and his, their shower was tiny. So he had to like duck underneath. Wow, yeah, the, yeah. The the thing, but I can I, I, I think that. it is uh, almost comfort mode here. Okay, I don't know. What do you think? How long have we been going? I I haven't been timing it. I've just been letting us go. It's we did we did say we're gonna let this one flow, and we did. Yeah, we so. did. We did. But I mean. Yeah, we, uh, we were all over. Up. Some pretty good stuff. Yeah, we have to teach tomorrow now. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, which is good. And yeah, then, and we have the Rumble tomorrow. I gotta be waiting for the Rumble. Yeah, Rumble. Man, you man. know, maybe I'll throw it on. Maybe I'll throw it on. Maybe we'll drive to a house into, that's 10 uh, minutes away. Zoom. Well, mm, 11. Yeah, it all depends on how long Kelsey's okay. co workers and families are coming mm-hmm. over. So we'll, but what happened? I, I think Kelsey's hit, we're having some of her friends over tomorrow. So it depends on how long they're here. She's not allowed to have friends over. I know. I try to tell her. Grant your permission. I try mm. to tell her, but her friends are not as cool as yours. Well, this is true, <laughs> except for Melinda. I'll give Melinda one hundred percent. But I think maybe uh, after the Royal Rumble, we should send up like little videos of our input. Now try to do, like a whole podcast, so bef- on, but just a little input. Before of we, we end, a couple predictions. So okay. you've got the four way, fatal four way, fatal four. Who do you think's going to go for the title? So it's Roman Reigns versus Randy Orton versus uh, L.A. Knight. Versus AJ Styles, right? Mm-hmm. So who I do you? Know it's okay. You know Roman Reigns, and maybe I know Randy Orton. Who do you, you guys here. think? Who do you World call, you call for? I yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I say Roman. I, is, but... I have a, I have a, a couple of months prediction through through WrestleMania. So I say Roman does lose it without what? without getting covered tomorrow. I'm I'm gonna have to say. That. I, for some reason, I I want I, that to happen. Who, who, who I'm do you sure want, we who, all do. Who do you, who do you want to, to well, win? Well, my personal favorite is Randy Orton. I want Randy Orton to win, but I think they're going to find a way Let's to do that. Let the toy think, bicep. No, yeah, yeah, no, his back, back recently. Something. He had a back problem. Uh, but I feel oh, the, like the toy bicep you're thinking about was Cody Rhodes. That was nah, the, oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, I want Randy, but it won't be Randy because they just let him uh, RKO everybody. That was his moment. He's not going to win. Well, he's uh, also I, a fourteen fourteen time champion. Yeah, he's also on his last and, run though. I would say LA Knight. They're gonna give it to LA Knight. They're if anything, give it to him I, because they don't want his momentum to drop. The They're thing is, LA I want LA Knight, and then actually the wrestlers now, LA Knight is my favorite. Right, he's now. not of my all the favorite, favorites. But... I I like him. I like where his background, where how long he's so do you he's think all these he things. wins? I will. I think if Roman is going to still keep the title, I don't think Royal Rumble is big enough pay per view for Roman to lose it. I'll tell you why. And, I think it is and. And the other thing is, LA Knight, I would love for him to win the title, but I think they're trying to push it and do a rock Roman Reigns at uh, WrestleMania. And I'll tell you why that, that, that doesn't matter either. Go. Oh, I don't really do <laughs> predictions. I kind of like to keep it a surprise so, for me. But so ahead. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. you. I definitely think rock and Roman at WrestleMania, but not for the title, for the, for the position of head oh, of the, the table. table. That's so they t- if they take the title from him, then, then they don't have to tie two things up with Roman. They can keep mm-hmm. the title separate and go for head of the table against The Rock. And then The Rock doesn't have to hold I the title and can leave. That's right. And then yeah, Rock so. doesn't have to be around with the title. He, he gets the head of the table status and takes off. Back into executive. That's my prediction. Where he literally will wrong. sit at a head of a table <laughs> as an executive you know? director now. Yes, but that well, then the thing is to try to find out for. Uh, and Roman has to take a step back anyway. I think the uh, lupus yeah, is picking yeah. up again. Yeah, you know. Well, yeah, he's been doing less each year. He's right, uh, leukemia. I'm sorry, leukemia. 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 Uh, sorry, lupus. sorry, 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 sorry. Leukemia. Lupus. Yeah. yeah, he's having some treatment apparently again. So it's like let the, let the guy take care of himself. I'm surprised, as big a wrestling fan as you are, you don't have. Some wrestling gibbets in, in the, not yet. You know what? I actually, now you thought of it, I honestly, I haven't really thought about like gibbet gibbets where I, was, where I'm like, I got my Crocs. I'm like, I'm happy the way it is. And then yeah. for Christmas, the gibbets I get or the gibbets Christmas, I get. I got, you know, my, well, we gotta get you, we gotta get you another pair of Crocs. You need the American flag. Yeah, I need the American flag. Really need Crocs. Dave, who wins the Royal Rumble? I have no Make say a name. Say any name that you think that might be a wrestler. Who still wrestles? Just say any name. Say your name. Uh, Cody Rhodes Retur- returns. I, 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 is, the Cody Paul, is, is the Paul brother still in this? He'll pro- maybe. No, he's going. No. To, no, Logan Paul is going. That's against, right. He uh, has the U.S. title. He's wrestling, he's but not in the Rumble. He's going against Kevin Owens. 
So he, they, they, they have Man. a one-on-one match for the title. Just say any name. Because remember, people can return at the You Royal could Rumble. do the bicep guy. Cody Rhodes is the bicep the, guy. He's a peck. He's, he's a peck, peck guy. Peck guy. Oh, he peck. was in Torn the last peck. time. Torn peck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll go with torn peck, dude. All right, right Cody dude. Rhodes. Cody Steve, Rhodes. Steve, give me a prediction for the Rumble. Come on. He doesn't do predictions. No, but for the Rumble, <laughs> it's fine. Friendly guess. He reacts. He doesn't predict. I do. It's true. Yeah. I do, do react. Well, react to your prediction. Failure. Go. Uh, I honestly don't know. I don't think they're going to give it to Cody again. He just got it last year. Okay. That doesn't um, help us answer. I think maybe Jay. Jay, Jay Uso. Then Jay Uso against Lilling. Like, I'm going to watch match. this tomorrow just so I can, just so I can be like, who's right? right. Who's right? <laughs> well, exactly. I'm, I'm going to do a video. Who do you think? Uh, you Rumble. Come on. Either Cody or Jay Uso. And then if they if LA Knight wins, either one of them going against LA Knight for the title at WrestleMania will be a very good match. Mm. You know? I uh, yeah I, I I have no idea who's gonna win the Rumble. I don't want it to be CM Punk because I'm not a huge CM Punk fan, so I'd rather him not win it, even though he's in there. I, yeah. I, I, I well, think he going to get it should be or honestly Sheamus. What's that? Is it Seth? Oh, I no. like I like X-Pac. Sheamus. I do like Sheamus. Yeah. Sheamus should be I know in the Rumble. Sheamus. Yeah, Sheamus is good. He's gonna, well, he does the workout uh, programs with all the wrestlers. If you watch, yeah, yeah. I, I follow him. Oh he does God, a really great. So many, somebody do so many. Uh, he f- does their ro- workouts for the day. Like he'll go to each wrestler and do uh, their workout with them. It's really cool. That's yeah, cool. he went on that's doing like idea. doing up downs yeah. for like five, ten minutes straight oh with God. like Becky Lynch and uh, Seth Rollins. Some of these workouts, you're like, oh my! I started there. doing. I started doing a lot more Hindu yes. squats, um, and notoriously. <laughs> Since you brought him up, Chris Benoit, he did hundreds uh, of them a day. Really? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was famous for doing Didn't like help in the end. hundreds of. Uh, I mean, he was pretty jacked. Help sanity. He was, in, but physically, he was in the greatest <laughs> oh, he shape. Was very ever. He was a specimen. But uh, all right, let's kick this crock into comfort mode. It's about that time. You got it. Right. Predictions are out there. Predictions are out there. Uh, yeah. If you have not already, please make sure that you follow us on Instagram and on TikTok at Kickin' in Crocs. K I C K I N dot in dot Crocs. C R O C S. Subscribe to us on YouTube to watch the video versions of this podcast. Like, uh, leave a comment down below if you have any opinions on what we have discussed. And uh, share this video with your friends. And if you're listening on audio only, then you must give us. Five star reviews and share with everyone you know. And again, visit our website at kickingincrocs.com for access to all of our Just audio the- and video links. So please visit us and again, share with your friends. Comment, comment, comment. <gasps> Until next time, I've been Steve. I've been Dave. Still Nick. The V Rocket. And. We love you from the bottom of our crocs. Yeah, okay, that's actually true. Right. I forgot you had the bottom. You crocs stay. Classy San Diego. Come see what <laughs> V Rocket is cooking. <laughs> <laughs>